Here it is, Tesla car camping. Still raining, no end in sight. Still really want to make s'mores. Boom. Welcome to my fireside chat. Fireside chat in the Tesla. Perfect uh, camping day weather. Was this a bad idea? I'm starting to regret this camping adventure. It's gonna be very wet. Let's go in and get some supplies. All right, I need marshmallows, hot dogs, and buns. It's probably better that they don't have these where I live. Oh my God. Just because you can do these things doesn't mean you should do these things. Good enough. I think I'm gonna do the potato ones. Oh God, what? Marshmallows, marshmallows, marshmallows. The biggest bag of marshmallows ever. Good God. Back in it. This is too wet. It's way too wet. All right, here we are. A whole new adventure awaits us. I feel so rugged right now. You can, they, you can do your laundry here. There it is. Laundry machines. Giving you a full tour of the Hershey campground. It's my first time staying here, actually. Well, welcome. Yeah, yeah. I'll make sure you know what site you're going to. And Perfect. All that. Now you're aware that we don't have water on. Yep. Currently. Okay, I just want. It's official. I'm camping at the Hershey Park Camping Resort. Ugh. All right, we're registered. That's where you check in. That's where you do your laundry. That's where you go bathroom. And I think the arcade's over there too. Okay, we got ice. We got administration offices. We got the campgrounds. All right, I am site 105. We gotta get the classic backing into the spot shot. Home sweet home for the night. Spot 105. Oh, this is, this is nice. Here's everything you want to know about charging at a campsite with a Tesla. First thing we're gonna do, mobile charger needs to be retrofitted for charging at a 1450 outlet. Cool thing about these mobile chargers is you just take this off, 
This is just your regular 110 regular outlet that you can find anywhere. This puppy though, put that on, lock that in. Oh, train's coming, a train, train. All right, next thing we're gonna do is make sure that the breaker is on. We do have some spiders living in here. We're not gonna disrupt them. And we're good to go. Also, I'm balancing this thing on my head. That's skill, okay? And we are golden. Let's see how much I'm getting. It'll take about five and a half hours to get up to 80%. We're getting about 28 miles an hour, 32 amps, 240 volts. It's pretty good. There it is, there's charging 101 in the rain at a campsite. They said it couldn't be done. They said it shouldn't be done. Yet here we are. I'm so wet right now, and not the good type of wet. Wow, look at that. A little makeshift uh, umbrella canopy. Let's go explore the campground. Nice and rainy. Uh, Boy, that's a big puddle. This is a problem. Get around that. All right. Love to have made a little fire. There's the train, very close to the campsites. I do love a good train though. I can't get enough of them. And the graffiti, graffiti on these trains are quite good. Oh, this is just a terrible idea in the mud. So I believe these are RV hookups. I did an RV site. There's only a $10 difference between the two. And I think the regular campsites didn't have the 1450 outlet, which will give me more energy. So I decided to pay $10 more and take an RV site as opposed to just a regular tent site. They also have little log homes, which I really like as well. Some of these don't have the 50 amp outlets because if you were just to plug into a regular 110 outlet, it would just, it would take like 24 hours just to go up like 20, 30%. I feel very rugged right now. I feel like a man. I feel like a big, strong, burly man right now. A mighty, wet, cold man. So cold. And I forgot to get condiments for the hot dogs. So I might have to leave again and go get something or just go get something to eat. It's freezing too, on top of it just being so wet. Let's do a little tour around here. I don't need a full bottle of ketchup and mustard and relish. I just need some packets. Need some packets. I can go over to 
maybe Milton's or Chocolate World. Let's see if I can find some. There they are. Sweet, delectable gods of chocolate watching over me, raining down on me. Not, not chocolate rain, just regular rain. Who likes payday? All right, condiments, condiments. There's gotta be some condiments around here somewhere. Oh, jackpot. Mustard. What do we got over here? Mayo, no. Oh my god, guys. Holy crap. It's always pure chaos at Chocolate World. All right, I'm just gonna do the chocolate tour once and that's it, okay? Only once. still want to find some relish. Whoa. Relish, 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 relish. Um, there's gotta be some, how do you not have relish? Well, you let me down Milton's ice cream parlor. I thought for sure you would have relish. I hate these frickin' things. It has not stopped raining all day. But luckily, I got some free ketchup and mustard packets. So. Not a complete waste going into Chocolate World, and I rode the Chocolate Experience ride, whatever that thing is called. I forget what it's called. It's a Chocolate World ride. Chocolate, chocolate, the history of chocolate. Milton Hershey chocolate. Nope, that's it. Thank you. I had to bow down to the clown. I don't think I'm gonna be able to make any hot dogs tonight. It just, the rain hasn't let up for a second. And we're back. Thing is, I'm having actually a good time. Just wish it wasn't raining so much because now I have a giant uh, pool of water forming outside of the car. And uh, 
I don't think this place can flood, but I don't really want to have to step out into the rain to go to the bathroom at night. That's going to be my biggest uh, annoyance. Okay. The bathroom's right there. Not far. Not, it's, that's easy. Distance, easy. It's the rain and the wet in the middle of the night when you're, when you're half awake and you really got to go and you're stepping around into a giant puddle or lake or stream or whatever is forming over here. Oh. So good right now. It is about quarter after five. I'm in the back seat. I'm getting ready for camp mode now. I have a little preset for camp mode. When I press that, it pushes forward my driver's side seat all the way. So there's a lot of room in the back here. I'm gonna also do that with the passenger side seat too. Put these down. So originally, I had the idea to put up this privacy screen. It goes all the way around the windows and everything, but I don't think I really need to do it because it seems like it's pretty dark over here. No privacy for me tonight, so hopefully people are gonna get a good, people are gonna get a good show. We'll just say that. Now, now we're nice and flat, hot dogger. I had such amazing plans for this. People look weird when they lie down, right? Am I the only one who thinks that? When you lie down, we have weird faces. All right, now time to set up this mattress. This little umbrella is helping block some of the rain. All right, air mattress inflated. Give it a little push in, make sure we're in all the way. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, we're in. Oh. Oh, okay. Turning, turning lemonade, turn it, making, turning lemons into lemonade. But I'm in, I'm in the car, I'm on the bed. Oh man, my feet and socks are soaked. So wet, so gross. Here it is, Tesla car camping. The umbrella's down. This is not particularly a lot of fun right now. Man, that light is super bright. That's at 1%. It's dark now. Still raining. No end in sight. I have to pee very bad, but I don't want to go out into the rain. Another campsite across from me is packing up. They're leaving. They're like, nope, we're not, we're not doing this anymore. We're out of here. Part of me just wants to, to, to go home. This has not been the most ideal of situations.
I really wanted to make s'mores. I'm very hungry. I'm wet still. This adventure feels like a little bit of a failure. I didn't get to do half of what I wanted to. And now I'm just stuck in the car at 6.45 at night. like slowed down for a little bit finally let's see how high this stream is oh good god Jeez. well looks like I may have finally gotten a little bit of a break here just for a couple of minutes still really want to make s'mores. It's supposed to stop like really torrential downpouring around like 10 or 11. So I'm going to try to make s'mores then. But for right now, I'm just going to hunker down, try to stay dry. Okay. Don't get the bed wet. Don't get the bed wet. So what do you guys want to talk about? It's not even 8 o'clock yet. And it feels like so much later. Finally stop for a couple minutes. I can open up the trunk. Sit out here with a little bit of blankets, listen to the creek. Yeah, now we're car camping. This is, look at that smile, finally. Oh, I like rain, but not when it rains for 12 hours straight. I just wanted, just wanted to enjoy this for a little bit. Well, we couldn't get a fire for obvious reasons, so I brought an electric grill, the same one that I bought at Goodwill. What am I gonna cook first, s'mores or hot dogs? I don't think this thing works anymore. Well, this is pretty pathetic. I don't have any way to cook things, so I'm just gonna have to raw dog them. I don't know if I can raw dog a hot dog though. I feel like I gotta heat that up a little bit. Boom. Ooh. It's so good. It's just not warm, you know? See, I got a little uh, special effect on my light here. Makes it look like a like a little fire. Welcome to my fireside chat. 
fireside chat in the Tesla. Well, this night wasn't a complete failure. At one point I almost considered just leaving, driving home. I felt like, I felt like the rain had broken my spirit and I was tired and wet and hungry and uh, felt like I couldn't get a break, but somehow it stopped raining for a few minutes and I was able to open up the door, just get that little moment where I could read for a couple minutes, get some fresh air, and then I had a little snack later. It's more or less stopped raining for the night. So, it's now like 9.30, 10, and I'm getting pretty tired, so I think I'm going to I think I'm going to call tonight. This fire effect looks pretty good. I'm digging it. I mean, New York City this quiet, something happened. You know, I always remember on September 11th how quiet the city was. You know, I mean, after, you know, if you didn't live right there. You know, Cheeto Honda, we're going to step all over the city. And, all right, so you stroll down the... I lied. I, I'm watching That's Netflix easy. for a little yeah, bit. So anything strikes you. I'm more worried that I will strike something. <laughs> that anything will strike me. I mean, there's a difference between this model...